Hello there. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to start this reaction by saying a quick statement. And I don't know if you guys are going to agree with me on this, but I want to start by saying that I think season one of Lost is one of the strongest opening seasons of television I have ever seen. And we haven't even finished the season itself. We still have two episodes to go. But with the season itself being 25 episodes, it is hard, very hard to maintain that consistent quality throughout. And I haven't even felt the 25 episode run this season. It has been a breeze for me. I have watched Lost very quickly, but yeah, I haven't even felt that it has been 25 episodes because I have been so engrossed. I've been so immersed into the world of the show itself. I have loved, you know, following these characters from the very first episode. It has been absolutely fantastic. And that is very hard to do, especially having a 25 season episode, a 25 season, um, yeah, a 25 episode season, sorry. And, you know, a lot of shows today don't even have, you know, 25 episodes across its entire runtime. So to do that in one season without me using the word filler, I think once, I think I used it once, but I was referencing um, or sort of uh, complimenting the show for not having any filler episodes thus far. I think it was around the episode 15 or 16 range is absolutely fantastic. It's a testament to how great this opening season of Lost has been. And yeah, my only complaint, I think, this season has been just the Shannon and Boone, um, uh, just the Shannon and Boone relationship or like the sex scene they had. I think that's the only complaint I had or the only thing that I thought was unnecessary. Everything else has been great up until this point, in my opinion. And yeah, I just think it is one of the greatest um, opening seasons I have seen in a very long time. In fact, in probably television history, it has been, you know, from the on from the onset, absolutely fantastic, and you have been on the edge of your seat non-stop. And I think there's many more um, surprises to come, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? And I know this has been a two-minute intro, but I just had to start by saying that, and we haven't even finished the season yet. So what's going on, guys? My name is Ellie Moses, a 24-year-old law and film student here from Sydney, Australia. Absolutely shooting a shot, and today we are up to episode 24 of Lost Season 1, titled Exodus Part 2. We are up to, you know, the second movie in the trilogy to end season one. This is the two towers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> let's get into the reaction. Let's have some fun with this thing. And as always, let's absolutely smash it. Let's go. Oh, really? We're going to start with the extreme close-up shot of the baby. That's not a good sign, man. And obviously... I want, like, obviously the title Exodus itself um, has a biblical reference to the story of Moses and the Israelites. Um, but I wonder if there was like a little bit of an Adam and Eve reference um, last episode with Danielle saying, you know, she birthed a daughter and then now you have Claire birthing a son. So yeah, I wonder if there's like a little Adam and Eve reference, like brand new life on this mysterious island itself. We've got to get there before sundown. Once you reach the cave, stay there. The rest of us will be right behind you. Said, I need a gun. Look, I know Jack gave him to you. I want to I know I have to protect Claire. Russo said the others wouldn't be here in the light. Russo is 35. What is they show up before? The last the time you handled this, I killed the man. I did us all a favor. Charlie, you're emotionally involved. Let me handle the weapon. You're not here all the time. You can't protect Claire. Look, I need a if gun. If you really want to help Claire, get her packed, carry her child to the caves. That's what she needs. I told you, man, this is that Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides type shit. Remember the random pirate ship in the middle of the island hanging off a cliff? I'm getting Uncharted vibes here. And I mean the game. Uncharted 4 at Thieves End. I love this. Phenomenal game. <laughs> I guess that explains yeah, it. we just gotta go with the flow, Hurley. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait, whoa, oh wait. What are we? A couple miles inland? A tsunami probably swept it here, huh? Right? I did what you asked. We need dynamite. You don't need me. Oh, uh, we kind, we kind of do. Who's gonna lead us back? I'll lead us back. You heard her. The explosives are in the hole. Let's go. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. I came here to tell you how to handle dynamite, not explore some ghost ship. You think right, I'm just stay out here? Aunts would survive a horror movie, I reckon. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna stay out here and hang with Aunts. He asking all the real questions. <laughs> 
Portsmouth. Is that from the UK? I believe Portsmouth. Yeah, that's that's UK, I think. That's England. That's probably from like, you know, the 1600s, man. 1700s. That's from time ago. You're not the only ones to wander on this island. And then my third wife, she says. <laughs> third wife. I didn't sign up for this. Now you tell me, what the hell is that even supposed to mean? You know what? I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not cool enough to be part of your merry little band of adventurers. Bro, Hurley. What? <laughs> I know what it's like when I see it. I teach high school pally. <laughs> you know, you people think you're the only ones on this island doing anything of value. You know what? I think they're intentionally trying to make odds annoying here. Um, you know, sometimes he does have valid reasons, um, you know, and valid questions about what's happening. And, you know, he could be of use being a science teacher, but I think he's intention or they intentionally making him um, come across as annoying because I think he's going to be expendable um, because he's the only one as part of this group that can probably be killed off at the moment. Uh, so I think they're trying their hardest to make him, you know, as annoying as possible. And I am falling for it. Like, it's unfortunate, but I feel like, yeah, it's, it's kind of obvious that, you know, they're trying to build him up as this non-stop complainer and whiner. When he does have valid whines, um, but I think, you know, they're trying to get you to dislike him. Um, so, yeah, when he does die, you don't really care for him. But, yeah, he's one of the survivors, man. He's, you know, he's married at the moment. He's got the ring on. Um, you know, he's maybe got really financial struggles at home. Is it Life's stressful sometimes as a teacher with dealing all of these students and the cliques. Who knows? <laughs> I got news for you. There were 40 other survivors of this plane crash. And we are all people, too. Thank you. Like, I know. Okay. You know what? All Hurley has to say is like, bro, I can buy out your school if I wanted to. <laughs> like, I can probably buy out this island as well. <laughs> my net worth is $156 million, my guy. <laughs> get it open. Can I just... You should take it outside. Why? I don't even You're know. You're not trying to open a crate that says explosives on this island with a pickaxe, Katie. Yeah, I agree with Jack. Take it outside. Yeah. Knowing Kate, I got it. She's gonna. You mind showing us the way? <laughs> Knowing Kate, she might take a little bit of dynamite for herself and it's sneak it in that bag. Either. You know, the gym teachers, you think they let me sit with them in the cafeteria? No, they do not. <laughs> this is all in your head. Really? Didn't you explain to me why Kate gets the best pieces of wreckage to build her shelter? And the Korean guy, does he text fits for everybody on the island? No, he does not. He doesn't. And some of us have actually lost weight while we were here. Hey. Now, do you mind telling me where you're hiding the cards? Because I can't figure... What the hell are you people doing? Wait, wait, stop. Stop right where you are. All right, I want you to put that down carefully. Put it down carefully. Put it gently, gently. Damn it. Carefully, gently. Gently. Do any of you have any idea what happens to dynamite in 90 plus degree heat? Huh? Do you know? Any of you? It sweats. Nitroglycerin. Oh. Well, what are you doing? Did I ask you to come close? <laughs> hey, you doing his thing, man? Nitroglycerin is the most dangerous and unstable explosive known to man. Is that true? Hey, hey give me your shirt. Now, princess, give me your shirt. I need to wrap the dynamite. <laughs> this princess. Throw it to me, right? <laughs> Be careful. Come on, hurry up. Yo, I got a new guy for nicknames. Okay, good. Now back up, back up. Back Boyer up. might be gone, but we got Arts. Back up. Get out of my way. Oh, we have the backup. He and is the backup. About the guy who invented nitroglycerin? Probably not, because he blew his freaking face off. And he said, huh. He's going to get blown up, isn't he? Oh, okay. Maybe All not. Right, we're not going to take any more of this stuff than we need because nitroglycerin is extremely temperamental. So we. Oh my! Damn, dude. 
Was that just a faulty piece of dynamite? Was it ready to go? Was it exposed to too much heat or? Okay, so we're seeing this scene again. He's gonna bump into someone in the restroom from the flight, isn't he? Or Sun might use her English here. Sorry. Okay. Inconvenience? I'm sure you are. Sir, your bag was unattended. Am I free to go? Yes, sir. Good. Poor Saeed, man. I have a plan to catch. Shannon did a madness. Ah, paper towel you again. Ew! What up, Will? Ew! Johnny will jump in this shit. Back. Where Johnny? Is this guy on the same flight? Brother, we got an entire movie before the flight even takes off. So is that guy on the plane as well? Is he part of the others potentially? Yes! Raft scenes! Moana! Let's go! The boys! I didn't expect to be seeing this this episode. I said we might spend time away from these guys for a little bit. But you can build yourself one hell of a beach resort right over there. Yeah, you built your resort. I'm happy to say goodbye to this place forever. Oh, that's the same island, right? Oh, okay. What about everybody else? Think they'll be okay? Hope so, buddy. At least until we can get him some help. So we're still in range of the island, okay. Singing, Bob Marley. <laughs> oh. Aw. Why, you like Bob Marley? Man, who doesn't like Bob Marley? Everybody loves Bob Marley, surely, right? <laughs> Yo, they done built a pretty good raft. I'm not going to lie. That's badass. I love those aerial shots, obviously, from the helicopter of them just, like, chilling on the raft. It's just vibes. <laughs> Man, that makeup really that heavy? Damn. You really need all that? Yeah, I do. Why do you have to bring so much? Don't you have a hike to lead? <laughs> what are we doing? Hiding? As if they won't find us. It's just... It's too much. It's too much. It won't be too much if I carry it for you. <laughs> oh, come on. I have a hike to lead. I wanted to wait for the right moment to pause. Gotta let the scene play out sometimes, man. Okay. I was gonna say, last episode I theorized that, you know, the others might be potentially survivors from the same plane that were, you know, on other parts of the plane. So that lady, um, uh, the black woman, auntie, I called her, the one who gave great words of wisdom to Charlie, um, you know, her husband might have been part of the others. Like, he might be part of the other section of the plane that he was on. So it might be that the other... You know, other individuals survived the plane crash, obviously, and were on the other side of the island. And I said that I said the same thing about Michelle Rodriguez's character, Annalise, uh, Annalisa, I believe. Um, so, she, like, what I was theorizing is that, you know, all these members of Flight Eight One Five have interacted with one another. Uh, without any sort of like um, any sort of significance given to it every like it, once in their life or you know right before the plane crash they've had um, a direct or indirect interaction with one another and the others could be those same individuals that they've interacted with for instance with Jin and Sun it might be those two individuals um, that were sitting and making remarks about them having coffee and not understanding English but Sun was clearly understanding what they were saying and they were being you know um 
they were being hev- heavily, you know, um, racist towards her, like, like about her not understanding English and just making those, you know, rude remarks about her. Um, and for Jin, it might be that guy that was tailing him um, in the bathroom. So the others might be individuals which have given not trouble um, to these guys on the plane, but I've had that like contact with them. Um, and yeah, like I said before, you think to the, you think that you won't see these individuals ever again in your life once you land in LA, but here you are removed on an Island with them and you've come face to face with them again. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who the others are led by, who's their leader per se, who's their Jack, or um, who's their Kate. It might be like there's exact counterparts or like exact rivals um, for these characters that we've been following. So it's going to be interesting to see. That was messed up. Yeah. Hey, Justin. Was that just a faulty dynamite stick? Exploded. Or was he completely wrong about... In front of us. The nitroglycerin. He was just trying to help. R.I.P. Arts. This is because I can't. Oh, the bad luck. (laughs) What? You should think about this. All right. Maybe this isn't the best way. It's the only way, Jack. I mean, these sticks could explode at any minute due to the humidity and temperatures. How many do we need to blow the hatch? Two should take care of the hinge. Three to be safe. Safe. I'm removing the driest pieces to minimize our risk transporting. Is Locke not going to take, you know... You ever play an operation? Sure. Don't touch the sides. I, I always got me over. I wonder if whatever Walt said to Locke is going to have any weight come to blowing the hatch after what he said. Don't <laughs> open it. Really, Locke? <laughs> you like to play games, John? Absolutely. Flashback. Oh. Okay. I know we're in a rush to escape to the caves, so I solved the turnip head transporter ship. This is uh, just a blanket that's on the plane, and then this piece of wood here that goes through this bamboo. Here you go. Uh, baby carrier. Yeah, thanks. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. Oh, thanks. that's okay. Just put him in there. <laughs> nice. Sadie, where is he? Who's so? What? Saeed, he already left and he's here now. Jack and Kate, there is no time. Where is Saeed? All right, just calm down, okay? I'll get him, Saeed. Stay here, all right? Okay. Saeed! Saeed! What happened out there? <laughs> May I go with you? See. Um, well, why do you need Saeed? Maybe she tricked you don't her. Want me to hold him. Did she? No, I, I, I just fed him. I, I don't think it's a good idea, okay? Please. That's yeah. Dark Mark, man. Oh, 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 yeah, they need, they need, oh, the memories start coming back. She distracted Charlie, right? Well, Danielle, man. I told you, they, they did some juju to that baby. Oh, my. They did some juju to Claire, sorry. Someone, help. Damn, man! Help. What happened? Her head! Where's my baby? Oh my god! Is he alright? Russo, was she alone? She my baby. Did she take my baby? No. Danielle, man! No. I don't know! She took my baby! This is your fault! You brought it to the no, Really, Charlie? You just give me a gun! Do not hit me again. You want to waste time assigning blame? There's plenty to go around. She has a head start. If we leave now, we can catch her. How are we gonna do that? 
Because I know where she's going. <laughs> this is so intriguing. You can carry all the sticks in my pack. The more insulation we stuff in, the better. I think we should split them up. What? It's not smart to keep it all together, so we split them up. If we need three sticks to blow the hinge, then we should bring six. Three and three. Fail safe. In case one of us... <laughs> Gets sent to heaven you early. Can. Early retirement. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm taking one. What about you? You want to carry some dynamite too? No, no. What? You got some... On you. I'm surprised he hasn't fainted yet. <laughs> Short sticks carry the packs. Bam! Looks like it's you and me, Kate. It's rigged. Is it a trust issue with Kate, or does he want to protect her? But so I feel like it's a trust issue. Do do? Well, the transmitter sends out an SOS in case someone's listening. If there's anything out there, we'll see it on this radar screen here. What did Saeed say? There's a 25-mile radius with the transmitter? Here we go. Sawyer with the glasses. <laughs> someone find us. Those are Messages everybody wrote. Sure are. <laughs> They're private. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like. For one, never knew how much Tracy missed her hubby and two kids back in Fresno. Yet she's sleeping next to good old Scott. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the tea. That's Steve. Scott's dead. <laughs> Whatever. All right, Kazoo. We got to keep ourselves entertained. Who the hell is Hugo and how he got $160 million to leave to his mom? <laughs> how do you like it for the Jewish? can't read it, so I didn't write one. Why not? Because the only letter I ever wrote was to the man I'm going to kill. Might as well just say it. Why are you going to kill him? Because I need to. Why? Because. <laughs> I like how, you know, I didn't think we'd spend this much time or like even, you know, get any sight of the individuals on the raft this episode. But I like that. I like that we're spending time, you know, with the four horsemen on the raft because it almost seems like it's a little, um, it, 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 it's like it's time in the episode to breathe a little bit, some comedic relief. And so it's almost like as if it's more peaceful, it's more tranquil environment, you know, with the calm waters they're currently traversing at the moment or sailing at the moment. Um, yeah. And it's almost, like I said, it's almost a break from what's happening on the island. I feel like it's, it, it's a little bit um, of respite in terms of like all the chaos that's going on here at the moment with the baby being hustled. Um, and then, yeah, obviously everything that's going on with the dynamite, it's like, it's a race against time here uh, to save Claire's baby as well and with everyone divided um, and in groups it's going to be interesting to see how it's solved and yeah man I'm loving it at the moment I'm loving it and yeah I like that little time that we spend away on the raft it's fantastic Russo told that she saw black smoke but their own child was taken 16 years ago yep the baby's necessary they took something from her and now she believes she has something that they want she's making a trade I believe she is, yes. She's insane. She's insane. Don't try to apply reason to her actions. She's a mother who lost her child. Just like Claire. This isn't about revenge. Don't make it personal. I can't trust Charlie to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm coming with you. It's not a good idea, Claire. This is my baby, okay? I let her take you. Don't do me. Maybe they want you there, Claire. <laughs> Get him back, Charlie. Get Aaron back. Aaron!
I guess that's a no then. Oh, he's playing the Game Boy. My auntie used to have that. I used to play that so much. The Game Boy Advanced. No way. If you're worried about Vincent, he's going to be okay, man. Dogs flying the luggage compartment all the time. You know, I was... Listen, I was thinking, um... I was thinking maybe you could take him. Oh. If, Ma, if it's a question of money, I... Lock. <laughs> Lock's just been willed by, mind. man. It's never part of the plan. <laughs> yeah. I... Thanks. Come on, Michael. You gotta embrace it, my guy. He was supposed to be yours. He heard that, didn't he? <laughs> hey, man. I was uh I need new batteries. They had the worst possible start on this plane. <laughs> hey. Wanna try? What? Come on, come here. You drive for a while. Really? Absolutely. I love their relationship, okay, man. Look, the growth is unbelievable. Part of this boat is the rudder. It's how you steer. Turn it gradually, nothing sharp, okay? Push it this way. We tried. Just didn't work out. So, our lives, our interests, just went in different directions. How come I never saw you? Everybody can hear it on the little raft as well. Because <laughs> your mom didn't want me to. She did what she thought was best for you. She was wrong. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, Jin learning the terms, man. Rudder, rudder. Right. Please don't be a shark or anything. Hopefully, just a little hiccup. Just a little hiccup. That's just a little hiccup. A prelude of possibly many more tests to come. And we overcame this one. You should put that back on before you burn. See, Michael's going to probably think he planned to possibly, you know, take them all out and then take the raft for himself. But no, that's not the case. Sorry. Yeah, well. Luck of the draw. See, at this moment in time, I haven't so uploaded. Minutes, give or take. I haven't uploaded the Kate Welcome episode yet. So I don't know what your guys' okay. thoughts are. How we do this? <laughs> I'll lead. Kate, you're right behind me. Then Hurley, John, you bring up the rear. If you start to see me heading the wrong way, we should stagger our formation. Keep a safe distance from each other. All right, we stagger. If anyone hears anything or sees anything, like the security system or these people. <laughs> yeah, like that. You two, you take the packs off, you put them down, and you run. You got it? Mm. <sighs> yes, sir. I might have to okay. watch Exodus Part Let's Three today, this. man. I said I wasn't, but I might have to. I'm too. I'm too invested. I'm too invested. Come on, man. Lock, don't be planning some bullshit, man. Come on. Don't be planning no sabotage mission. Yo, there's only seven minutes left in this episode. That has breezed past, That's man. Crazy. Haven't felt it drag whatsoever. What? Do you think all this? What we've been through? Do you think we're being punished? A lot of people think that. Punished for what? Things we did before. The secrets we kept. 
the lies we told. Brother, if you're being punished... Who do you think is punishing? For keeping secrets. There'd be a lot more than 40 people on this island. <laughs> No one's punishing us. The whole damn world will be here. <laughs> no such thing as fate. Are you okay? I'm fine. Keep going. Yeah, Saeed got that military stamina, bro. Losing the knife. Try to keep up. I'm coming. Come on, Hobbit. Let's go, man. You journeyed Middle Earth. This island should be nothing. Yo, the black smoke itself has aura, man. Like, that thing have aura. Dane! We haven't even gone to the location. Dane! We haven't even gone to it yet, and it's had so much aura. Saeed! Saeed! You can barely breathe. We're going to rest. Rest? She's out there right now. In we're... another mile, you're going to collapse. We're going to take a break. Anyone on board? Two men dressed as priests. Priests? Drug runners in disguise. Oh no, the he's gonna. With heroin. Oh, I was about to say, I. You guys haven't seen my reaction to that episode yet with Boone dying. I said in the episode, um, "Don't let Charlie see this," because I remember seeing the heroin was packaged the very same um, way that Charlie was um, holding it. And yeah, we've had the Charlie flashback this episode, obviously with the one night stand he had with the Australian woman. And here we go. He came across it because I was like, I was about to say, oh, every time I see this plane, I think of Boone. But I didn't realize that the heroin was going to pop up again. This is a test for Charlie, man. A massive test. Especially after him continuing to suffer from right. withdrawals. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, we're going to be left hanging. We're going to be left hanging. I think because we didn't see him turn and walk away, I think he probably took one. He took one of the stashes or probably all of them. I hope not, but... I hope I'm wrong, but... I don't know. Come on, really. What do you think's inside? Hope. I hope you are Let right. I hope you are right. He's had a little gaze. But I was saying before, I wonder if... You know, what Walt said to... Lock is in the back of his mind about not opening it. And I wonder if he's going to clock that soon enough, if that's what Walt meant. But uh, that's one of the eagles from Lord of the Rings. What is that doing here? Whoever name is Space Dark Territory. Genius. <laughs> you are exactly right, my friend. <laughs> They nailed the name. No, oh, really? Damn, just to be continued like that? Oh, now I gotta watch Exodus Part 3 today. I might take a little break before watching, but now I gotta watch it. What the heck? That was just a to be continued final shot of Hurley just walking. Um, that's going to be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait to see part three. Um, oh man, it seems like part, you know, Exodus part two and three seem to be like one little mini movie themselves. Um, you know, episode one was more of like a standalone episode. It, that felt like a pre-finale episode. I said it in that reaction, but it seems like, yeah, it seems like um, part two and three seem to be one like mini movie, hour and a half finale in itself, just divided into two parts. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. It's been your boy, Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace. Thank you.